Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. <clears throat> I am actually going to show you a few more things about the Abrudent software. A few things I want to show you today is that um, the Stitch Artist, Artist, Artistry, sorry, <laughs> 2 is the one that I have. You can get um, the Stitch Artistry 3 and up. You can also get the fonts um, from Embrace. I would just go online to um, embrace.com and you could be able to download this. Now they do have a free version that you can actually try out and then that will um, that will kind of help you to see whether or not that you would like that or not. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go up into our Embrace software. We're going to go into your file, okay? We're going to create a new page, all right? All right, and then once you do that, then you're going to go over here to create designs, all right? In this little area here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use actually the line drawing tool today. It's called Draw with Points. So we're going to go up to Create, Create your design, and begin a new design. With this tool up here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to press on it. And you're going to create your own little, let's see, drawing that you want to do. So for me, I think I'm just going to try to create a heart. Now, it is a little hard to do this. I think it just takes some time. But basically what you're doing is you're just clicking on the arrow, okay, to make your little lines up here. This will probably not be the best part, but however, this is just to show you what you can create. Now, if you don't like, see this little area, if you don't like that, you can actually just go back, backspace on that. Um, I'm using my HP for this, so I don't know exactly how it would do with a Mac. Um, I'll have to try that on my Mac, but today I'm using my HP on this. Um, and try to make, you know, you try to make your little heart as close as you can get. Then you're going to go right back up here and you can connect it with this where the green points at. That's how you make your heart on there. That's how you draw your little designs. Okay. So let's say for instance, you go over here to your line draw. Okay. And you're like, okay, well, I don't want black. So the outside of my line, I want to be green. So we're just going to go ahead and press on that. Press OK. Your outline over here is green now. Well, I want to fill my heart in. So what I'm going to do is go right up here, and this is called fill. You're going to press on the fill, and it automatically goes to the green color that you have. Now, if you don't want that green color, you can go back, and you're like, okay, I don't like that color green, but I like this color, and press on it, okay? Over here, it's going to show you your fill. Now, you can see everything over here in your panel area. So anything that you do, you're going to be able to see over here, okay? Next, what I'm going to do is, let's say for instance, I'm going to put a name. So we're going to go up here to create letters. Press on your letters, okay? And let me see if I can move that down. I'm going to move it down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it right here because, let me go back and press on it again, sorry because I'm going to want to stretch those letters out. Let's see here what else I can do. Now on my Mac, I do have more than only this block letter. So because I just got a new HP over here, i got to figure out how to transfer those over yet. So I'll be doing that soon. So then I'll be able to show you. But right here in text, okay, you're going to backspace and you're going to put the word heart. So once you put that in there, then you can actually bring the word heart over here. Now, if you don't want that inside the heart, you can put it on the outside. Now, this is where it comes into play when it comes to letters and things like that. Okay. Um, actually, let's, let's do this. Uh, how about this one? Be better. I just do that. Okay, so anyways, this is where it comes in play, like I said, when it comes to um, to your lettering. 
These are block letterings. I don't really care too much for block letterings unless I'm actually going to go ahead and do it on a t-shirt or something. I'd rather have something that is a little bit more fancier letters. Um, but like I said, I can't get those on here right now. I've got to be able to download them on there yet. But anyways, just playing around with this, this would be like what your own design would be, okay, that you, you could actually go ahead and um, you could just use this little design here. Now, let's say, for instance, you want it to curve it. You want to curve the top. There is a way to do that. I did it before because I was, oh, there it is, right there. See how it curves? This little area over here where, see how it goes back and forth where it's curved, okay? You can curve it that way. You can curve it under. You can curve it over percentage-wise. Um, and then see what it does. It goes ahead and it actually will, um, it will actually curve that up. Okay, sorry, my dog is, is starting up. Um, so let's say, for instance, we want to use grow. So see how it does there? So it kind of grows from side to side. And then it kind of warps it a little bit. So you can kind of play with those little settings back and forth on what you want to do. Um, this one right here would be slant. So let's see if I want to slant it to the side. Slant it this way, left or right. Your spacing, your spacing is a little bit different. Okay, so you're going to take your spacing, you can space it out. Okay, and you can still move this whole thing around here. Okay, but let's say, for instance, you want to grab a hold of this and you want to put the P down here, and then this letter up here, and you know, just kind of make it crazy and wonky. You can do that as long as you stay in the lines of this area, this perimeter area, you're okay. All right, so that's all crazy now, isn't it? So let's go back to my spacing. Got to get it back in there. And of course, you know, I had to mess with it. So you can do this individually, kind of play with each one of them and pull it back up. Try to get it where you want. So anyways, um, so this basically... You know, this could be your little design there. I mean, you're like, okay, well, I like this. Not that I really like it, but I'm just basically showing you how you can make your own design. All right. So once you're done, then you can go back up here into your simulator and go over to this little area arrow here. And it shows you how this whole area will actually um, stitch out. So let's start that. in fast mode here. Now you can change up your stitching anytime. If you don't like it, you can just go back and you can start over again. Okay. That's totally up to you on what you want to do and how you want to do it. So let's go to, we don't want to change, save changes to, no, I don't want to save any of those changes. So we're going to go to a new one. Okay. Let's go to, not this one. Let's get this guy out of here. If you ever don't want anything on here, just kind of go up to the, this top right here. And just delete. That's all you do. So when you get over to this area, um, there's several things. There's merge designs. There's create letters. There's merge a stitch file. Um, let me just go right here for a minute. There was something in here. Here we go. In your embrace, you have what's called embrace outlines, and that comes with your embrace software. Um, in this software, it will show you clouds and bubbles. These are things that you can actually go ahead and pull over. Trees, floral, things like that. You've got heart shapes. This is stuff that's actually in the software itself. So instead of pulling an SVG, you can kind of come over here and you can pull some of these shapes. Okay, and you can kind of go from there. There's that, there's this. So let's say, for instance, I want to go in here and I want this clover. So I'm just going to press on the clover, press OK, 
I'm going to, I don't like the outline of it. So in it's orange, so what we're going to do is go here. Let's go and find a color. And like I said, you can find it under sort, color, sort, color, name, number, okay? Um, and basically what this is, is just showing you the threads up here, okay? For each one, all the way over. Let's see if I want to do this one. This is a Poly X40. These are just different types of threads, okay? This is palettes. So I usually just keep it on the threads, and I can go by the name, the number, or the color, okay? So let's do some, something crazy today. That's okay. Here's my blue. Well, I like that blue. That's my blue outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. And remember, this is only in Stitch Artist 2, okay? Stitch Artist 1, you're going to get something like this. Okay, it's going to be very plain. It's just basically, you're going to get a few little basics on what you want to do. So you definitely want to get Stitch Artist 2, 2 and 3. So you can actually play with this little palette up here. Now, if I wanted to fill it, I can fill it here. I can go in here, find my color. Hold on, sorry about that. There we go. I can go ahead and I can fill it here. Um, with this blue color right here. I like this one. Okay. And go up here and fill this line. You want to fill it as a line, okay? And fill. There we go. Okay. So this filled my color for me. All right. Now, let's say, for instance, you want to do, there's patterns over here. There's a brick pattern. There is waves, there's a snake pattern. Um, it, it all depends on what you're wanting to look for. Or you can go for no pattern at all. Um, that's totally up to you. Go back into your color, okay, and your thread. So this guy right here, I really like this color, so I'm going to just kind of move you up here. Now, let's say, for instance, you're like, okay, I like this, but then I want to add a few. To it. So let's go back up here to where it says merch design. Let's grab a cloud. I really like clouds. So let's do cloud. So we're gonna we can move that cloud around. We can go over here. We're gonna find our outline color for our cloud. Let's find a pretty blue there. Let's do this. All right, that's our outline color for our cloud. Well, this line. I also want it filled. I want to fill my cloud. So there we go. So I pressed on it over here in your control or in your panels. Press on it. Okay. Make sure you press on your fill. And whatever color that you pull is going to, it's going to fill that area. So you see that? Now, let's say, for instance, you don't like that fill pattern. You can go back up and you can change your fill. You can change your patterns. Okay. Um, and it will show you exactly what pattern it's called of. So this is a stempling. Um, let's see here. If you want that to make your clouds, you can make your clouds like this. What is this one called? This is a motif fill. All right. So any of these little patterns up here, you can actually choose. And once it's done, whatever you choose up here, if you go back into your simulator, this is exactly what it's going to do. So let's go through. We're going to see what it does. So it's really cool. So you can create whatever pattern. This one actually looks like a cross stitch pattern. Um, so you can create whatever you want. Let's go up here into 3D. You can do 3D on it. Um, there's so many functions that you can do. Um, it's just going to take you time to do it. Now let's say, for instance, you wanted to do a point. Okay. Go back up here. If you want to do a point and you don't want to go in here and you don't want to grab anything. Do a point, go around, you can make a little circle, whatever you want to do, whatever, you know. As long as you connect these dots together, you're okay. Go in, press on your color that you want over here. You're like, okay, I like this color. We're going to go over here. You can press on this line right here and then go over up here to the top where it says fill and fill that color. See, it just filled that color for you, okay? Um, another thing, we have a drawing, uh, drawing tool over here. Same thing. Um, pretty much you could just go in, you can 
fit your color there. That'll that'll feel better for you. There's a lot more features to this, but these are just the simple things that I'm gonna that I'm showing you today that you can actually go with. If you're done with it, then you can actually go ahead, save it to your USB. Usually I'll go up here to file and I'll go down to save stitch file as. Okay. Once you do that, all right, you're gonna press on that, it's gonna go into wherever your stick is at with your USB stick, okay? You're gonna save it here. I usually name mine. Um, since I don't have this in here, you'll name whatever, um, just let's say here, draw, um, and then save it, okay? I'm not, you know, I'm not going to save that today because I don't want to put it on my stick. But anyways, so you can do whatever you want. If you don't like that one, exit out, okay? So save changes. Nope, you don't want to save changes to it. You want to start a new one. So go back up, select a new page. And then you can start all over again. So this basically, this is a pretty, pretty easy, um, pretty easy software to deal with. Like I said, you're gonna have you go online, go to embrace.com, and then you can actually go through it, and it will show you um, different types, stitch types, artistry, fonts, everything that you want. Um, and it depends also on your computer. So if you got an HP, if you have a Mac, you there's different versions that you can actually go ahead and download for it. So um, there is another, I think there's one more thing I want, oh yeah, up here where your hoops are at, especially with the genomes, um, you're going to go up here where your preference panels are at. Okay, so in your preference panel, you're going to look for hoops, okay? In your hoops, most of you have like 200, two by, or either 200 by 280, you can do 200 by 200. It doesn't matter which one that you that you actually want to put in here. It depends on. Let's put it this way. It depends on um, what you're actually going to sew out or embroider at. So let's say I want to use a 200 by 200 hoop. I apply that. Press OK. This is what my hoop's going to look like. If I'm not going to do that. Then we're going to go right back up here again. And we can do a 140 by 180. Apply it. Press OK. Anything you do has got to be in this area. Cannot go on, on the outside of it. Now, if you want to, to see it better, then you can actually go ahead and just kind of bring it in a little bit. But other than that, it has to be in this hoop area. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up on this video. Um, I'll be more than glad to answer um, answer any questions that you have. And thanks for stopping by, this darn chick. Have a nice night, and we will see you later.